Have you subscribed to our YouTube channel? Have you clicked on the notification bell? If you haven't, please do so now. On YouTube, subscribe now. Hello, good morning or good day. Welcome to Tony Point with Femi Emmanuel. Welcome to TPGF, Tony Point Global Family Daily Devotional Prayer and Prophetic Quarter. Wake up to this altar daily, either for personal or family prayers. Listen to the teachings and the inspiring testimonies. After Turning Point Audio, turn to Turning Point Daily Devotional Booklet, authored also by me. Read the Bible study for the day, pray the prayer for the day, and get the prophetic action for the day. It is published monthly, available both in hard and soft copies. TPGF members, subscribe online. You can make a yearly or a monthly subscription with a token. Using the Daily Devotional Prayer Booklet, we make you understand the Bible more and grow you spiritually. For subscription and subscription renewal, send a charge to Demi on plus two three four eight zero double five one double zero five one zero. Do so immediately now, so you won't forget. Welcome to Tuesday, the nineteenth day in December, twenty twenty three. Please open your hand and heart to receive today's prophetic blessings. Be responding with Amen. I receive it. This is Christmas season, and the end of the year it shall be in your favor. You saw the beginning of the year. You are now witnessing the end of it. You shall end this year strong. You shall end this year with overflowing blessings. Breaking forth to the right and breaking forth to the left, I prophesy an all-round breakthrough for all my listeners. We have just a few more days to Christmas and the new year. Now tell God quietly in prayer where you are the kind of blessings you want from God to end the year. Please say so. The specific in the natural parents all over the place are doing Christmas shopping for their kids. They are buying Christmas dress, Christmas toys. God is our father and mother together. He wants to give his children, you and I, the end of the year gift. Tell him what you want. Be specific. Mention them by name. Conception for waiting woman, married proposal for waiting daughters, good jobs for applicants, promotion, healing, money, payment, good sales, marital peace, desire for your children, and so on. Pray quietly. God will answer. Now let me pray. May God give you the desires of your heart. May all that you have quietly mentioned become your testimonies in Jesus' name. Say amen. I receive it. Someone is holding what belongs to you. Who is that person? God will direct and touch the heart of that person for you. Everyone, let's take this prophetic action today if you can. Draw an imaginary circle around you. Maybe in your room, in your office, in your kitchen, on the floor where you are. An imaginary circle. Stand in the middle and I prophesy. God will put you in the middle of a major miracle. Of a major breakthrough. You will not be at the periphery of things happening anymore. You will be at the center. God will also mount a hedge of fire around you. No evil will cross that red line to you. People will soon come and be congratulating you in Jesus' name. Say amen. I receive it. Right? December 19 celebrants, your prayers. Be blessed. Be lifted. You will live the rest of your life healthy, wealthy, prosperous, fulfilling your destiny in Jesus' name. Happy birthday. First issues for teachings today. Good morning, my wonderful TPGF. Daddy, I met a guy on Facebook. He said he's a pastor, but no church, no ministry, no job. At the moment, he believes God will make him rich tomorrow. We are in different states. We are in our late thirties. He proposed, but I'm finding it difficult to accept his proposal. Am I being inconsiderate? Wow, not at all. You are not being inconsiderate. You are being wise. A pastor, no church, no ministry, no job, and yet is hoping to become rich tomorrow. That is not the kind of person you want on the Facebook. Block him. He's not the one. Your own God-ordained person will come locating you with a clearer focus and profitable, profitably engaged. Next, good day, sir. Concerning the woman with 30 years difference between her and her husband, please, sir, what's the maximum age difference? A lady and a man can be to get married. Wow. Well, there's no timeline or official age gap. But it is better for two people that will get married 
to be within the same social age, the same generation. They must not be far apart at all, so that they can have the same mindset, orientation, focus, ways of seeing things, circle of friends, language, and so on. They will argue less. Now, they, they, they can be, be, they will be, they must belong to the same generation. There will be less crisis that way. Now, say two years, five years difference, at least not more than ten years difference, may be okay. Although there are a few exemptions where there is a bigger gap and they are still able to live together and cope. But that's a few exceptions. People of the same social group, same generation, should marry. Next, please, where is the nearest Living Spring International Church to Alakuko? Wow, Alakuko, um, Alakbado, all those environs. Living Spring Chapel has house fellowship centers around Alakuko, Alakbado area, but do not have a church sanctuary there yet. Alakuko is not far from Mikeja on Sunday, if I know where it's far on Sunday, because there is no traffic, no inhibition. When you come to Ikeja Center on Sunday, you will be linked with fellow residents in Alakuko, and you start having house fellowship centers there prior to having a church sanctuary there also. Next, good evening, Daddy. I'm working on that government, but now I train for a professional course later. Now I secured a job in a private company with a better pay, but people are saying to me, I should not quit government job, that it is more stable and secure than the private company. I need your counsel, sir. Wow, I guess you know the counsel I will give. It depends on your passion, your focus, and your vision. Those saying government job is more secured are of the older generational mindset, not being able to dare life, not adventurous, sit down in the same place, lay back people. I disagree completely. Now that you have a profession that has earned you a job with a better pay, why do you still want to remain in the government job, working with low pay, merely waiting for retirement, gratuity, and pension? No, 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 no. Be more enterprising and be daring, ready to face challenges. Even on the new job, you should not go there and sit down counting years, save money, the fact gratification as I've always taught us, and then start something on your own. Build it up to become a brand. Grow investment. You will be more fulfilled that way. Some people may not see it the way I see it, but remember, life is not just about being able to eat, feed, and pay bills and send your children to school. No, it's about touching other people's life, adding value to life, having enough resources to make contribution to the advancement of God's kingdom. More, more believers should be more daring, go into the industry, become investors, and make huge money that the kingdom of God requires. Don't stay on government job, work hard to become an employee, an employer of labor, to become an investor. That is my take, that is my push, that's my orientation. Next, good evening, sir. I would like to participate in Club 1000. How can I register and start sending my own seed towards Shiloh 2024? Wow, I'm glad many more people on their own without pressure are ready to be a part of Shiloh 2024, being a part of Club 1000. TPGF and listeners all over the world, if you desire God to use you to prepare for Shiloh 2024, please send a chat message or please send me the details of being a club member to plus 234 807 240 Do so and God bless you as you do. Next, good morning. My question is for the sake of those just joining the Turning Point Global family. What does warfare prayers entail? Please explain thoroughly. Wow, yes, you are right. Many new people are daily joining TPGF family. So we keep repeating the same thing, saying them again and again for the sake of those that are just coming in. Two Bible verses, very important, readily came to, uh, come to mind. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 12 and 2 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 4. Listeners, please check it out. Spiritual warfare prayers means using the appropriate word of God to pray. When you have identified the need, you must first of all identify your challenges. Type it on Google. Google will bring many Bible verses on the issue. Carefully select the appropriate one, the relevant one. 
copy them out, and then engage them in daily intensive chanting prayers. One hour at a go, 30 minutes, 15 minutes, pray in the spirit, pray in your understanding. On that issue, using Bible verses, ah, no matter what the situation is, it will break. Then fast, one day in a week at least, and back it up with battle seed. Whatever those challenges are, they must break. Nothing is higher than the word of God. Listeners, please always pray with Bible verses as we teach it here. Don't just be saying words. That will be mere words. Say Bible words. That is the kind of prayers that God hears and that God answers. May God answer everyone's prayers. Please rebroadcast this to all of your contacts. Do so daily. Let God use you to introduce TPGF to other people around the world. So that as we are growing, we keep growing more. The glory of God will cover the earth as the water covers the sea. Tomorrow is the prayer mountain program at our Abuja Center. So all TPGF members and listeners in and around Abuja be there tomorrow. 12 to 2 p.m. as usual at Living Spring Chapel Cado Life Camp after the fish market. TPGF members all over there, please be there. Telephone numbers to engage for more information is 0806-133-2800. Thursday is the prayer mountain service in Ikeja, Lagos. TPGF and all listeners of Tony Point in and around Lagos, don't miss it at all. Prayer focus these Thursdays and also for Abuja tomorrow. Last prayer mountain before Christmas. It is anointing and impartation for Christmas gift from God. Now, come with any of the Christmas thing, Christmas hat, Christmas cloth, red and white, the big thing Christmas. God Almighty will give you gift to end the year that you will not forget in a hurry. Two services we hold, 7 to 9 a.m. and 9.30 to 11.30 a.m. The same two services we hold at Dominion City, Ibadan, Kolobo Abelkota, Oshobo, Akure, Portacot, Anuyo, TPGF members in all these cities locate our centers there and start attending. Telephone numbers for more clarification is Dupe on 0806-478-8392. Start chatting and calling now. It shall be live stream. Join from all over the world. Put on your Christmas hat. Put on your Christmas dress. God will open the door for you. This will be your best Christmas season ever. This will be your best end of the year season ever. God will launch you out into 2024 of glory, of power, of abundance, of our flowing wellness of his power. What God cannot do does not exist. God sent me because of you. Heaven will not rest until you are truly blessed and fulfilled. I am Femi Emmanuel. TPGF, truly blessed. Bye.